Copilot by Microsoft. In this video, I'm going over two options, Microsoft Copilot Pro and Copilot for Microsoft 365. We will go over what are the differences, how we can use them in a free trial, is it worth it, how is it compared with the rival ChatGPT, and how is it going to be integrated with all of the Office in Microsoft. Make sure to see by the end of this video, which I also go over how you can create your own custom um, co-pilot in which you can interact with it and use your own data that will be suitable for your personal AI. Hello everyone! For those of you who are new to this channel, my name is Pedro Magan. I'm a PhD student in computer science with over 8 years of experience in AI and machine learning and plus 10 years of teaching. This YouTube channel is AI Fun Fact for All, which we go over the concepts of AI in a simplified way where we can use it in our everyday life. So let's get right into it. Let's first talk about what's the difference between Microsoft Copilot Pro and Copilot for Microsoft 365. The first option is only for personal and family subscription of Microsoft, which everybody like us can actually use it. And the second option is only for business account, which they have on a standard or the premium account. The second question is, do we need to have a Microsoft account to use this? Should we already pay for a service in Microsoft to be eligible for this? I will talk about how you can create a free account in Microsoft and use this without needing to pay any extra service. You will just need to enroll for a 30 day um, free trial. Copilot Pro is 20 US dollar or 27 Canadian dollar per user per month. It also comes with one month free trial. So what are the benefits of Copilot Pro? Let's look at Microsoft website to figure this out. In Copilot Pro, we get a priority access to GPT-4 and GPT-4 Turbo during peak time. So in Copilot in its free version, we also have access to uh, GPT-4, but basically uh, we don't necessarily have that access during the peak time. The other thing is how we can build our own Copilot GPT for our individual needs. As I mentioned in the end of this video, I will go into uh, talk about how we can create this uh, basically uh, Copilot GPT for ourselves. Copilot can also be integrated into some of the uh, Microsoft Office apps uh, such as Word, uh, Excel in its preview, PowerPoint and Outlook and for Outlook we only require their email address. And finally it can generate unique images uh, up to 100 uh, daily boosts which basically 100 number of uh, uh, images um, and use the designer. However, for the free version, it was only about 50. Designer is a new version of Bing Image Creator and allow you to use the in-house Dolly tree to generate uh, images. And Boost actually refers to how many images you can create. In the free version, there is only 15, but in the pro version, you can generate um, up to hundreds. Where can we use the Copilot Pro? It can be accessed through the web, going to copilot.microsoft.com or their search engine bing.com and then chat. It can also be accessed through the apps in uh, iOS, Windows uh, and Android. If you have um, basically the personal or family account, you can access it um, in your desktop version. If you don't have, you can still use it inside their cloud version. Uh, so we will go over that together. As a time of recording this video, it's only available in eight different languages, including English, German and French. Now let's talk about how we can activate our one month free trial in Copilot Pro. For that, we are going to search for Microsoft Copilot Pro and then we are going to uh, choose the first option here. And uh, it's going to ask us the country. So if I'm in Canada, I'm going to choose Canada. Uh, and then uh, we see that we have a one month free trial. And in here, it asks us to start your free trial. So very important thing in here is that you, if you already uh, using it in your work or, or a school, uh, if you have an organization office, you need to sign out from that. Because as we mentioned, this uh, Copilot Pro is only available in your personal account. If you don't have a personal Microsoft account, that is totally fine. You can just um, uh, create one for free. You just need one email address. If you have 
family uh, or basically personal uh, Microsoft account, make sure to use that exact uh, email address so that it will be synced uh, with your already purchased services in Microsoft. One thing that I really like about Copilot Chat is the fact that it can integrate with Bing Search and provide us relevant information uh, on uh, searching the internet and give us references of uh, where those information come from so we can actually cross search and verify those information. This was not for OpenAI Chat GPT, which we either have to specifically ask it uh, to look for the uh, resources in the internet and provide me with references. This one actually do it automatically. For integration of Copilot Pro with the Office apps, um, as I mentioned, I'm going uh, over the cloud version. We can search for uh, Office 365 and then it's going to ask us um, to uh, log in. As we see in here, what is changing is basically uh, inside the home, at the very end, I see the co-pilot option. And also when I'm typing, there is this thing in here, which can be activated with a command and then backslash. It will uh, generate uh, some responses to you uh, without needing you to go into an outside app like a, a ChatGPT or something. Uh, it will create the uh, different sections for you and um, it will provide a neat response. Uh, to you. The other thing that can be done is basically I can use a few options uh, and then uh, uh, click on here and then either rewrite it or basically visualize it as a table. So we basically grasp this information and try to somehow come up uh, with a, a table representation. If you even want more than that, you can go to the Copilot Lab, which is actually a very good place uh, for, uh, for the list of the prompts that you can get in order to get uh, the best result. Here you can basically sort it based on which app you want to use and then the category you want to edit, ask, catch up, and so on. And then it basically gives you the best prompt that you can use uh, in order to get the response that you like. So the second office that I want to talk about is a PowerPoint. For that, we will go over the Microsoft365.com and then come in here and choose the uh, PowerPoint. So for this purpose, let's look at the blank presentation uh, and then wait for it to load. And on the home tab, we see this uh, copilot option uh, at the very end. And then I can basically click on it uh, to create this uh, ribbon for me and then um, now I can basically ask it uh, pretty much to generate the whole presentation from scratch. As you can see, it created the whole slide for us uh, talking about different topics, health, human health, natural, wildlife, and also it provided uh, relevant pictures to it. So pretty much create the whole draft for us. I can add a slide uh, and talk about, for example, uh, let's talk about CO2 emission. Since the CO2 emission is uh, go at the end, it doesn't make sense. It should be before the uh, conclusion. So we can also do the reorganization. And there you go. Uh, you see that uh, it's added some slide and also changed the, uh, basically this slide to for example, number nine. One of the limitations of this Copilot Pro is the fact that it doesn't give us access to uh, OneDrive due to the privacy issues. But there is one trick that we can use in order to solve this problem. So let's look at this together. In this instance, I'm going to uh, choose this option, which is a, a tax option that I copied from the Office Pro website, and I uh, put it in here. And then uh, what I need to do is that this is inside the uh, Word document, uh, and then I can come in here and uh, basically try to uh, share it. So I'm going to say share. I'm going to say uh, create a presentation, but instead of uh, giving a specific topic, you are going to say from, uh, and then you are going to paste that uh, document in here, uh, and then uh, you are going to uh, click enter. 
So there you go. As you can see, it is uh, going to gen uh, generate this um, important uh, topics uh, from my uh, document. The next office app is Excel. So Excel Copilot uh, in the Copilot Pro is in its preview version. So it is uh, beta. If you're inside your desktop version, since you have a, a personal or family account, uh, you might not see the Copilot uh, icon there. So what you can do, you need to make sure that you are logged in uh, and then you also need to make sure that it is online. So when you are saving your document, make sure that you save it in your OneDrive. The other thing that you might encounter in the Excel is that it might tell you something like this. Uh, it says that I only with Excel table. So in that case, you need to basically choose uh, some part of your uh, basically data and then uh, try to convert it into a table for example i can search something like how many dates uh, the close price was about 220 the rose is 91 and then if i click on it i see that it generates the, the formula which give me the results that i'm looking for so basically it can generate the formula for you the other thing that we can do is that we can generate plot it create this chart for us i can add it again to a new sheet and then here we can see the results. I can also add a new column uh, and uh, basically uh, say that to create it for me. So for example, volatility of the stock. It gives us the formula that what he thinks is correct. So it says that the high minus low divided by open. Uh, and then we can basically suggest that we want that. And then it uh, generally create this uh, volatility for us. The next app that can be empowered by Copilot is Outlook. Inside my Outlook app, I click on new email and then it will automatically use my Outlook. Uh, in here, uh, in the body, I can click on the uh, draft with Copilot and then I can even click on here and choose uh, the tone, for example, casual, neutral, uh, and the length of it, medium, short, and then click on uh, generate. Here are three limitations of Copilot Pro that you need to be aware of. The first thing is that even if you have a family account, if you bought a, a Pro uh, Copilot, it's only going to be used for one of the users. So it is a 27 uh, Canadian dollar per user per month. So it doesn't automatically apply to all of the users inside your family. The second limitation is that you cannot use your Copilot Pro inside your uh, Microsoft or your organization. The third limitation is that uh, your access to the Office uh, integration would be limited to these only four apps that we talk about. So if you want to connect it to your Teams, uh, or for example, um, if you want to access uh, to uh, your OneDrive, uh, whatever uh, files that you have inside there, it wouldn't be available inside Copilot Pro. You definitely need an organization a subscription uh, for that. So how we can stop our registration if we don't like the app, what you can do is that you can come to the account Microsoft uh, services. You can come to the home and then you see the list of subscription that you have. Uh, and inside the Copilot Pro, you can do a manage uh, subscription. Uh, and then if you want, you can basically cancel your subscription here or turn off with your window. So the second option was Copilot for Microsoft 365. This option is only available if you already have a, a, a standard or premium business account. Price for it is 30 US dollar uh, or uh, 40.7 Canadian dollar per user per month. Uh, so what is available with this is all of the four the integration that we talked about in addition where 
uh, the XL is not going to be in preview mode or beta version, it's going to be alpha version. And also it will uh, give access to the Teams, uh, which uh, is very useful. It provides you um, um, all of the talks that you have inside your group. Uh, if you miss something, it can provide you the, uh, the summary uh, or the actionable item that are assigned to you. In addition, it will give you access to Copilot Studio. It is a more advanced version of the custom copilot that is available uh, inside the copilot uh, pro um, and then it is a low code uh, environment now as promised in the beginning of the video i'm going to talk about the uh, custom copilot uh, which you can basically use uh, a no code in order to create uh, some um, the custom copilot for your case that you can use and also you can even share it to others in order to be able to uh, create this and share it and publish it to others you need a, a pro account but if you if you just want to use it you can share it and uh, give it access to others and they can use it without a, a pro account so let's dive in for that you will come to copilotmicrosoft.com and then inside the uh, chats uh, copilot gpts you can see all the gpts and then you can click on a uh, new uh, copilot gpt for the purpose of demonstration i'm going to consider a scenario where we want to create an expense tracker so what we want to do is that we want to uh, for example take a picture of our receipt and then uh, keep track of it. it it categorizes it for us and then uh, we know that how much we are spending on, on different things throughout the month now that it's finished we can uh, click on preview copilot here get the result this is the item purchased subtotal tax and the amount paid what visa card was used and what was the date and then i can basically export it to word pdf if i want to ex excel and there you have it guys thank you for watching until the end of this video make sure to like apparently it's very helpful for the youtube algorithm and uh, subscribe so you get some more information about the latest advancements in AI in a simplified way. I've also created a video in here which I uh, talk about six different uh, uh, free AI tools that are incredibly important but uh, nobody unfortunately talk about them. So make sure to watch that video and see you until the next video.